In this video we'll look at how we can dynamically alter the options of a label after it has been packed onto a window. For example we can change the text it displays. We saw this program in the previous video and you can see here we're creating a label and here we're actually packing that label. If we consider these options here we should know from the previous video that we can regard these options as being in a table as illustrated here and we can see this table has two columns it has this column which shows all of the keys and it has this column which shows the value of those keys so for example if I look at this row we can see that BD the border width is 8 and that can be viewed in the code here where we signed to BD 8 if we come down here we can see that we have this row and that is saying that the text is going to have the value of hello world and we can see that was shown here in the program code. So we can see all of the options that are shown here and are appearing in this table and of course what we're dealing with here are key value pairs. Now it is possible to get at the value associated with each key value pair by using the key. So if I have a look at this line here what you can see I'm referring to the label 1 and within the square brackets I've got the word text which you can see are in quotes and that is the key that's shown here in the table that's the key and over here you can see that we have the value hello world so when this program executes what we're going to see is the following and the label appears here and if you look here you can see that we have a list of all of the values now that's because these print statements have printed each of the values associated with each of the keys as shown here we can see that this one is going to print the value associated with this key here we can see that we're going to be printing the value associated with this key for label one and so on for all six let's consider this computer program and you can see here we're creating an instance of a label and that label is going to be called label one these options here set up a particular look to the label that we're creating and that look is shown here now that label is then packed onto the window but look here and you can see there is a line of code and what this line of code is going to do it is going to assign this blue to this in other words the object is label one and if we look in the square brackets we can see we've got BG in quotes and that represents the key it represents the key for the background color so it looks like this line is going to change the BG from the red it currently has as shown here when the label was created to this new value here of blue. So when we actually look at what we will see when the program runs we will get this and you can see that this line has indeed changed the background of the label to blue. And if we have a look at what the label would have been had we not have included this additional line it would have looked like this as you can see with the background being red. This computer program shows a slight amendment to the one we've just considered and the amendment is shown on this line and if you look carefully you can see we're dealing with the label 1 and if we look at the square brackets we're dealing with the key text assigned to this we're going to put the string change text. Now what is happening here this value is now going to be associated with this key. So the key value pair this is the key and this is the value. Now when we created the label it was created here that key value pair. So if we were not to have these two program statements and we were just to run without those being in place then this label here would give us what we can see here. However, when we include these two lines, the label will actually look as you can see here. It's got the blue background and look at the text. It no longer says hello world. It says changed text. And I'll put the other window up what it would have looked like if we hadn't have included these two additional lines. It would have looked like this. So we can clearly see the difference. 
This program shows further amendments as you can see here. Now let's just imagine they were not there, then what we would have for this definition of the label, i.e. the instance we create the label, we would see this here, as we've seen in the video so far. Of course, these program statements are going to set up new key value pairs and the result is, when we run the code, we're going to see this. And to show the difference, that's what it would have looked like. Let's just consider one of these examples. Let's look at this one here. And we can see that this value here is going to be associated with this key. Consequently, if you look at the font, you can see it's different than the font here because the font here is set up on this line and we can see this line has altered it. This program shows this additional line of code and you can see here that I have a key which is one of the options that we can use when creating a label and this is the value I'm going to give that key. If you look up here you can see that nowhere have I used pad x but I have used it here. And this is showing us that we don't have to only change what appears here, we can also change, as shown here, the padding around the text that appears within the label. So if I now run this program, this is what we're going to see. And you can see the padding appears here and here. Now, if the padding was not there, i.e. I took this line out only, this is what you would see, and you should be able to see the difference. There's no pad in the X axis. So what's happened here is I have created a new key value pair that will alter the label as you can see. I further amended the program with this additional line and this is creating another key value pair where the key is width and that is one of the options that you will have when you're dealing with labels and of course the value is 20. So when this program executes we will see this and you can see that the label is much wider. Of course, I think it's important to point out that the programs we looked at here are really nonsense programs. You would set the label up appropriately here. You wouldn't come down here and change it as you can see. However, you may want to do that, but you would attach it to an appropriate function and you would have a button click responsible for changing the look of the label. Because this one here, for example, would be useful because what this does, it changes the text displayed in the label. And that's how you would get a result from a program out to the graphical user interface. Now there are other ways to do this and we'll be looking at those in due course. So I'll be coming back to look at how we change the look of a label later after we've covered the button and see how clicking on a button will cause a function to execute or a method to execute if we go down the object orientated way of structuring our Python code. Of course this code does not have to be associated with the click of a button. Other things things can happen that will, can cause a function or a method to execute another event of some kind, like clicking on an item in a menu, for example. There are many others that we'll look at in due course. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?